If you've been in industry for a couple of years and now you want to go back to school and you want to apply for PhD programs and you need letters of recommendation, who do you ask for letters? Let me just say that if you're looking for generic advice on how to ask for recommendation letters for math specifically, uh, if you go to my blog, A Field Guide to Math, and you navigate down, then I have a post specifically about how to ask for recommendation letters in math. And within that post, I have a section on who to ask for recommendation letters. But I think this specific scenario of I'm in industry and now I want to go back is not quite addressed in that section. Uh, so let me talk specifically about that case. Let me backtrack first and think about what do they want? What do schools want from a recommendation letter? What do we want to see in an entire application? What I want to see in an application to grad school is that you have what it takes to complete a graduate program. What does that mean? It means that you have a fluency in mathematics from an undergraduate degree or maybe a master's program degree that will allow you to get to here, start learning math, love the math that you're learning, and progress towards being able to do research. So the main thing that we want to see in your whole application and in the recommendation letters in particular is that you have that capability of doing math and you are capable of producing research. You don't have to be already trained in research. You have to have that affinity to mathematics and that passion for mathematics so that you will be able to do research. And the problem is that the longer you've been outside of academia, the longer you've been uh, from your undergrad or from your master's in math, and now you've been doing work on some industry that is not really applying these math skills, then that fluency in mathematics starts to degrade. And we start to get worried that you are not going to be able to catch up as quickly as others, and your program, your PhD program, might be longer than it needs to be. So if you know of somebody that can say that, yes, right now you do have that fluency in mathematics that will allow you to do very well in a PhD program, that's the person you want to ask for a letter. But someone that knows you now and that can attest that you are very good in mathematics now. But those are not usually your co-workers at some job that is not really math related. So if your co-workers are usually not a good person to write a letter of recommendation for a PhD program in mathematics, then who? Well, my advice is that if you really want to increase your chances of landing a PhD program, a good PhD program in math, is that you get back to doing math now before you apply in an official capacity, in an academic setting. And what I mean is that, well, A, the best option is for you to actually join a master's program that is actually aimed at training students to get into PhD programs so that you take a number of courses that will help you get back on doing math and thinking about math. Uh, you can do well in those courses and then those people that are running the master's program be, may be able to write letters of recommendation for you. Or if that's out of the question, you can't just join a master's program and leave your job. What you can do is just approach your local university, some university nearby, and take courses, take graduate level courses or advanced undergraduate level courses as a non-degree student. Do well in those courses. You get back to math and do uh, work in math and do proofs and, and do work that is worthwhile in mathematics with the aim of asking that professor or those professors that run that program to write a letter of recommendation for you that is about your math skills right now. I think that will be the most valuable letter you can get and will actually be helpful to you to do better if you do get accepted into a PhD program.